my name is Rachel and I am a planetarium educator at the Tyler Junior College Planetarium and today we're going to talk about one of the tools that you can use to stargaze. So with that, let's get started. Alright, so you want to go out and stargaze? Well, you have to consider the weather. There are these white fluffy things that like to float around up in the night sky that can block out all of the stars and ruin the fun of stargazing. You can use a standard weather app or you can use this app. I like to use this one because it gives you the stargazing conditions for the next seven days. It also tells you a few of the brighter constellations that will be in the night sky and it will give you times for the planets when they rise and when they set. It will also give you a little bit of information about our sun. It will tell you the day length tells you how high in the sky the sun is going to get and when the sun rises and when it sets. So now that we have the weather figured out, are you ready to go stargazing? Let's go take a look at some of the tools that we can use. Starfinder charts can be extremely fun and useful to use. They are kind of the old school way of finding stars and constellations in the night sky. So where can you find them? You can find them at most planetarium gift shops or science museums. You can get them at hobby stores or even online through places like Amazon. Now they're going to range in price from anywhere from $5 for kind of a cheaper one to $25 or more for a more expensive, nice one. The one I'm using today is from my local Hobby Lobby store and cost me right at $5. Another thing to keep in mind when you are looking at stars and constellations in the night sky is that it's going to be dark. So in order for us to read what is on our star chart, we're going to need a flashlight. Now astronomers actually use red light because our eyes adjust faster to the blackness of the light after looking at red light versus let's say white or blue light from a phone. Now the star chart that I got actually came with a red filter that you can cut out and tape to your flashlight so you have red light. Now to use your star chart, all you have to do is figure out what you want to look at in the night sky. For today's video, we're going to look at the Big Dipper, Little Dipper, and Leo in the night sky. We're going to start out with the Big Dipper and Little Dipper. Now they are in our northern sky. And if you are out early enough and the sun is still setting, you can always face the sunset and then turn 90 degrees towards your right and then you'll be facing in a general northern direction. Now our cardinal directions are north, east, south, and west. And a handy phrase to remember them all is never eat soggy waffles. All of our stars, including our own sun, rise in the east and set in the western sky. You can also use a compass or a compass app on your phone to find north. This is the app that I use and it works pretty well for what I need it for. Now that we are facing north, we can use our star charts. So you'll notice on the very outer edge we have our months printed and right below we have the smaller numbers which represent our days. So this star chart has the days represented in multiples of five. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We're gonna choose April 10th for our date. So go ahead and rotate your star chart around until you see April. And you locate the dot that represents April 10th. Currently in our night sky, the sun is setting about 7.45 in the evening. So if you wanna see anything in the night sky, you gotta wait till about 8.30 or nine o'clock. So on our star charts, rotate the smaller disc around until you match up the 9 p.m. with the April 10th date dot. From here, you wanna make sure that the blue part does not rotate around. Otherwise, we will see the incorrect constellations in our night sky. On our star chart, we have Northern Horizon, Western Horizon, Southern Horizon, and Eastern Horizon. So to see the Big Dipper and Little Dipper, they are in our northern sky. We need to turn the star chart to where the northern horizon is on the bottom. Now it's gonna be upside down and that's okay, that's correct. It's gonna show us the orientation for the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. The sky above us is actually kind of like a dome and our star chart is, well, rather flat. So we know if we face north, south is gonna be behind us. 
So if you hold your star chart out with the northern horizon on the bottom, you can kind of curve the star chart around so that the southern horizon falls back over your head, kind of like a dome. So let's look for another constellation. We're gonna look for Leo, and Leo happens to be found in the southern sky. So if you're facing north, you can just do a complete 180 turn, and you'll be facing the southern sky. So now you want to hold up your star chart and rotate it around until you see the southern horizon is on the bottom. And from here, we can see that Leo, the lion, is going to be directly south and pretty high in the night sky. Also notice that we have Orion the Hunter setting on the western horizon about 9 p.m. Thank you guys for watching today. I hope you had a lot of fun and learned some new things on our virtual field trip. I hope with your new knowledge of how to use your star chart, you can find several other constellations in the night sky. And with that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and stay tuned for more videos and hope to see you soon.